Welcome to TechPresses with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create schedule trigger in Azure Data Factory to run your uh, some pipelines uh, on some schedule time. So triggers uh, can uh, trigger on different uh, time and uh, they can run a single pipeline or multiple pipeline. Now, what we are going to do here, what uh, we have uh, in the portal, I have this uh, blob storage and the blob storage has uh, two couple of containers here. And uh, one is called input and that has some files and uh, the other one is the output that we are going to use. Uh, so this has no files. Um, so I'm uh, going to go to the Azure Data Factory. In the Azure Data Factory, uh, I'm going to go to the manage and then go to the author. And here I'm going to create a couple of pipelines before we go into the uh, triggers. Um, so this is going to be quick. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, create use a pipe. Uh, copy activity and the copy activity I'm going to use a source go to the new blob storage and uh, I will read from uh, binary file is fine and then uh, link services these all link services are pointing to the same blob storage so it doesn't matter and I'm going to select one of the file so I go to input folder and uh, let's uh, go to the delete master file so that's the file I would like to copy to the output and uh, in the sync, uh, I'm going to make a new data set, uh, go to the Azure blob storage, go to the type binary, and then uh, I'm going to go to the another link service. And here, I'm going to use the same uh, blob storage, and the container name is going to be output. So um, we don't have to worry about that. The file name will be automatically populated, and we are all good. If we run this pipeline, it's going to copy a file from input folder to the output folder. So let's execute and take a look. Now we go back to the output uh, and uh, let me open the output and you see that the file has been uh, moved, copied uh, in the output folder. So it's uh, still showing uh, in the queue but uh, the process has been completed. Okay so the pipeline is also completed here that looks good and uh, we see that file is already there so I'm going to delete the file because uh, we would like to test uh, by using the trigger. Now I'm going to uh, name this uh, pipeline I will call this pipeline called delete master copy or whatever and then uh, I'm gonna make a copy of this pipeline uh, so there would be multiple pipelines we have can have and then use the same trigger to execute them so I'm gonna clone this uh, and once I clone this uh, here I'm gonna say copy uh, instead of uh, copy master copy EMP file so I have many EMP files sitting there and uh, I'm gonna click on uh, copy activity go to source go to the open and here I will change the file name so instead of uh, using delete master I will use EMP address so, okay that's good and uh, now what we are gonna do here we can uh, publish this so we have two pipelines then a PL master copy and PL uh, employee so we copy this uh, and our pipelines are ready now next step is uh, when you would like to uh, create a trigger and uh, want to run them on some specific uh, schedule so what we are gonna do we are gonna go to the manage Actually, you have uh, two ways to do it from here. So first, uh, you can go to the pipeline itself, uh, and inside the pipeline, you have add trigger option. You can say uh, in new edit, and then it will open a window. So you uh, have to say new, and it's going to open uh, this window, and you are going to work on it and create a schedule and everything. That's one way to do it. Second, uh, if you want to do it, uh, that's uh, you're going to go to the manage, and in the manager, there are uh, triggers uh, tab uh, right under the author. So just to let you guys know, Azure Data Factory uh, team uh, do a lot of development and make a lot of changes. So maybe tomorrow there would be another tab. So uh, just look for the triggers. So we are going to click on the triggers and hit uh, new. Here is the name. I am uh, actually a uh, very big fan to name the things in the correct way. So let's say if I'm creating the schedule trigger, so I will always say schedule. And then uh, let, uh, if I would like to say, okay, uh, TBIT and the one minute okay so what i would like to do here at uh, this trigger what i'm uh, running uh, this is uh, our schedule trigger and it runs every minute so if i need to use this in any other pipeline this will be very helpful just by taking a look at the name uh, i can tell like oh if i need to run multiple pipeline on interval of one minute uh, this is a trigger i need to use uh, same way you can do five minutes uh, if you want to do hourly and all those kind of things so name them really good so you can use them here is a description uh, this trigger runs every minute um that's it so now uh, you have a type of schedules available uh, sorry type of triggers available that you would like to select uh, here is schedule 
uh, tumbling window, uh, storage event, and uh, custom event sub review. So these are the four different types of uh, triggers available for us. And uh, right now we are working on a schedule trigger. Now starting data, let's say you created the pipeline and now you don't want to run or schedule uh, till like next week. Now you have everything ready, you are going on vacation or you just want to you know, start from Monday. So you can always choose the date on which days your trigger should start working. So that's very helpful. And next uh, you have a time zone. Right here, uh, I would like to do Eastern time and uh, I'm going to select, I just type EST and it brought me this uh, Eastern time, excuse me. So it brought me Eastern time here and uh, now what we are going to do, we have a lot of things uh, or options uh, to choose from. So reoccurrence every 15 minutes, so you can do every like one minute if you want uh, or there is a tons of other options you have. You have every hour and then you have a uh, days so you would like to select different days and then uh, you want to work on different time or let's say at 10 uh, you know and a minute at 30 or something like that so you can always choose uh, the exact time at what time you would like to run this uh, trigger now you can go further into the weeks uh, and uh, then you can tell like okay i want to do sunday monday tuesday whatever and uh, choose the days and also choose the time so uh, it really helps you know to drill down all the way and uh, fulfill your all needs of scheduling if you want to do month you can see that uh, then you have a uh, month days and you can choose a different month days and see on which days you would like to execute and you have also weekdays you know if you want to choose so you have add a new reoccurrence so you can define this schedule on a very detailed level and it will fulfill your all the needs i'm going to go to the minutes only and i'm good with every minute and specify an end date let's say you are testing this pipeline or you want to run one time or two times uh, or for a month uh, and uh, after month you don't want to run this uh, pipeline so you are creating a trigger to run some specific pipelines and you want to use that trigger for only one month for to execute different pipelines so you can always specify end date here so you're going to click here and define the end date okay now um start uh, yeah in my case i'm gonna leave this one forever so till this uh, uh, trigger is there i would like uh, this trigger to be executed you know uh, now activated and deactivated that's uh, uh, one of the things you want to enable your trigger right now or don't want to enable your trigger right now so here uh, what we can do a uh, couple of things uh, i would like to do start date uh, i'm going to do actually the eastern time uh, right now and uh, in my time zone right now in the eastern uh, is uh, 11 and uh, i would like to say okay start at 11:20 uh, a.m okay so that's how that's what i would like like to start so the time to choose uh, that's uh, not really correct time from according to my time zone so i said okay on uh, august 1 first uh, at 11 20 that's your starting time so do do that at that time right now i can go ahead and try to activate it and uh, see what happened now once uh, you create it it's a uh, um started and now if i like to go ahead and then publish i saying hey validation of the module fail, fix it before publishing so what it is saying trigger schedule t1 cannot be activated or contain no pipeline uh, without containing uh, any pipeline as of now you guys see that uh, my trigger is there but uh, it cannot be enabled because i have not uh, added any pipeline uh, with this trigger so i'm going to hit the uh, close and uh, now i'm going to go back here and uh, let's go to the one of the pipeline and uh, here in uh, our pipeline uh, we have a let's say delete master add trigger and uh, new and uh, i will choose the tr trigger from here so now the pipeline we are adding uh, you can see right there and now we can say activate uh, and then we can publish uh, so it is saying any is uh, not use any parameters we are not using any parameters yes we don't we are not so hit ok and then uh, we are, can go ahead and publish uh, so honestly, like uh, I will say when uh, they gave us option to create our trigger from here and the first uh, point when uh, we were creating our trigger right here and at that time uh, they could have given us like in the drop down like choose your pipelines you would like to add for this uh, trigger or you would like to run those pipelines by using this trigger and then we just say activate and hit OK and publish but they did not. So after uh, creating it here. You have to go to the pipeline and choose the pipeline for which you would not look uh, would like to use that trigger so i'm going to go to the second pipeline i'm going to go to the add trigger again and uh, edit and new i'm going to choose the same trigger so 
we are going to run two pipelines. Um, so uh, by using the same trigger, I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to publish. Uh, so we are publishing our trigger uh, after making the changes to the adding to the pipeline. So all the changes will be published. And here is the thing. So you're going to go to the monitor. And in the monitor, you have this pipeline runs. That's going to show you uh, the pipeline runs and all that information. And then you are going to go to trigger runs. And it is going to show you. As you guys can see that uh, I this trigger already initiated and started. And uh, that was our schedule TBIT one minute trigger. So you can see that one pipeline. So it is uh, showing us one pipeline. So if we go to the second here, and uh, you can see right there um, our different pipelines. So let me see. We have uh, this was our first pipeline. It said the lead master copy, right? And the other one is the uh, our employee copy. So these are the two pipelines. So we go back to monitor, and now we are gonna see the lead master and uh, there is a and uh, this is only run on tbit i believe the other one did not run on this schedule because uh we were making changes to the pipeline actually we were adding the trigger to the pipeline uh, by the time it uh, triggered the first time so we are going to wait for another minute and it should be all good so now if you go to the trigger run and uh, here uh, you can see right there the first time uh, it was only added to one uh, pipeline and that's why it says one and the next time on the next time when it ran it uh, after a minute uh, all pipeline has been added to it now it is uh, executing two pipelines so let me click on uh, this two and uh, here you see that uh, these are the pipeline it executed on that schedule so if you click here it's going to take you to the pipeline run and uh, you can see all that details like how many records it came and uh, how much your data is loaded and everything you know so uh, that's very detailed information now you can go to the always uh, pipeline run and here is uh, uh, you can see the if it is uh, in progress or it's uh, executing or it's completed successfully so now you can see it is uh, in progress so if you want to go to the previous uh, uh, pipeline execution you can click here and then see the, all the details so this is very helpful also you can play with these uh, columns and uh, you can always say pipeline if you want to only look for one pipeline or two pipelines or whatever so in this case uh, if i am interested only to see these two pipelines uh, i'm just gonna hit okay here and then i will see only related pipelines which i'm interested in also you can uh, add a lot of uh, filters such as uh, succeeded or sometimes you want to see the failed ones uh, or all that you can see right there. If you go to the uh, trigger here, uh, what's going to happen now? If you need to do stop it, you can always go ahead and stop your uh, trigger. It's called deactivate. Now your trigger is stopped. So what's going to happen now uh, once you publish it, uh, next time uh, the, your trigger is not going to be running uh, to execute all those pipelines wherever ha it has been used. So this is one way to stop. And uh, let's say one of the scenario I can see when people are deploying uh, their code to the Azure Data Factory and they don't want to overwrite uh, anything and uh, the pipeline is running and all those kind of things. So what they do, they uh, first uh, they use PowerShell script and uh, de deactivate all these triggers and then uh, deploy their changes and then uh, enable their triggers. So if you want to go ahead and after deployment, you want to activate it. So you can go ahead and just activate and publish and it's going to do that for you. So this uh, this was one of the way to create the trigger, but there are multiple ways you can create your trigger in Azure Data Factory. And uh, you can use uh, Azure PowerShell, you can uh, use uh, .NET SDK, you can use Python uh, and all that to create your trigger. So they, these links, uh, I can put the link in the description and you can take from there and uh, work on it. So I hope uh, my video will help you. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.